Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the general daily collective message for April 26. Keep in mind, timing and energy is still fluid. This reading could play out today over the next several days. This reading may or may not be for you. This reading is also not sign specific, but I will call out any zodiac signs that I do feel need mentioning throughout today's reading. All right, let's jump in and talk about some of these astrology aspects. It is actually my solar return today. I made it another year around, around. Um, so I'm feeling really, really good. Um, actually, I was born at 3.16 a.m. And this morning I woke up at 5.21 a.m. So five is all about change, embracing changes, releasing the struggles, and 21 does represent the world card. And when I added all of the numbers for today's date up, I got the number nine. So nine's all about completion, closing out cycles, and that's what the world card represents. So I know from my own life, something is definitely coming full circle today. I can feel it in the air. I can feel it in the energies. And I began this journey about three years ago. So um, let's talk about these energies. So first thing I wanna talk about, uh, at 7.39 a.m. this morning, my local time, my area, um, with the moon in Pisces, it did form a sextile to Uranus and Taurus. So the moon sextile Uranus this morning at 14 degrees 17 was a huge, huge energy for me. 14 is a karmic debt number. So when we think about the moon, um, I'm a Pisces rising. My moon is actually in Virgo, the opposite of Pisces. So um, when, we, when we think about the moon energy, the moon represents our emotional nature. That's our security. That's our deepest needs. It's, it's also associated with mother energy. So it, you know, the moon kind of contains all of our basic habits, all of our unconscious reactions, and all of these unconscious reactions are related uh, to our past life karma and our childhood, our childhood upbringing. So that's why I say the moon is always associated with the mother. When I think of moon energy, I always think of Pisces or Cancer energy. And it is very much related to uh, the feminine energy that we all carry within, whether you are a man or a woman. We all have masculine and feminine. So it is both our inner child energy and our mother energy. So um, the moon is responsive, receptive, reflective, and it's also instinctual. And and it's going to, you know, depend on your own personal chart, your own moon aspects, where your moon's placed in your housing side, how you kind of respond to your emotional environment. And with the moon sextile Uranus in, in Taurus, both a sextile and a trine when it comes to moon energies, offer this easy handling of this uh, flowing energy, especially when it comes to relationships. So the energy is very fluent. The energy flow is like this merger coming through is what I felt. And it's bringing forward all kinds of considerable potential, but you have to kind of use this creative energy, this sensible energy um, in a state of being self-reliant. So I think many of us are kind of um, establishing our behavior patterns, what's working, what's not working. And um, with this sextile to Uranus, Uranus is always like that surprise awakening energy. I, I kind of feel um, the energy is kind of reducing conflict, reducing confusion. And um, it's this energy of unity between the head and the heart is kind of what I felt today, especially when it comes to our future orientation, our future pathway. And um, it's kind of like this um, rhythm coming through. So, you know, relationship conversations can be quite successful in the energies today. And in addition uh, to these energies, it can really help improve your decision-making abilities. So. It's like this mentally alert energy coming through and being able to recognize new opportunities when it's time for them to arrive, when it's time to take that action and being willing to take advantage of, you know, new new doorways opening up on our journey. So get prepared to maybe take a risk or a speculative leap of faith and um, maybe learning something new in the energies. What I also made note of this morning was uh, the moon, uh, what house was the moon in? The moon is in the 11th house in Pisces. So um, at one degrees 37, I was actually 
37 years old. It was just a few weeks before my 38th birthday that I, I crossed paths with uh, my divine counterpart slash catalyst. I'm not even sure what to call that connection anymore because I kind of just feel this very freeing energy. Like I finally aligned with my own inner masculine and God source energy. And I'm kind of just prepared for whatever comes on my path next. And I also wanted to make note, we had the sun, Mercury and Uranus all in the 12th house of Aries at 10 degrees, 21, another energy of completion. And with all of this Chiron energy in Aries coming up, we're all in this uh, intense uh, transformation period of healing that core identity wound. Um, Aries is all about self-identity. And over the next six months, it's going to be this deep internal transformation of self-identity and bringing that to the forefront. And what I also made note of, the sun in Taurus at six degrees, 13. Actually, my sun is in Taurus at six degrees, 15. Um, 13 is a karmic debt number. Um, we have Mercury in Taurus at 2619. How interesting. I was born on the 26th. 19 is also a karmic debt number. And then we had Uranus in Taurus at 14 degrees, uh, 17. So we got a lot of karmic debt coming up in the energies. 13 is the karmic debt energy associated with death, transformation, rebirth. It is the death card. And um, it's also associated to Christ consciousness and, you know, breaking down all of those false beliefs and really stepping into that life of compassion, benevolent leadership. When we think about karmic debt 19, that's all about the breakdown of the ego, really recognizing extreme codependencies in relationship and in relationships and what kind of needs to break away to break down that ego mind that kind of wants to seek to control when in essence, we're kind of here to surrender control to these universal forces and and then karmic debt 14 is always associated with change and freedom. So there's a lot coming up when it comes to karmic completion in the energies. And then we also have today Venus sextile the North Node. And whenever the North Node is involved, it's all about subconscious domain energy. It's related to the moon, the lunar nodes. And I feel with Venus sextile North Node, get ready to attract some very good things in your life. Venus represents our feminine nature, our sensual nature, and it rules over two areas in our life, love and finances. Venus also rules our sentiments, our nostalgic energy. It rules what we value and the pleasure that we want to bring into our life. And it also rules grace and charm. So you think of Venus energy, it's the feminine aspect. It's this creative energy, artistic energy, love and romance, uh, beauty, entertainment and, and comfort. And Taurus does and joy to live a very comfortable life. Although Venus is in Pisces, the North Node is in Taurus. And with the North Node in Taurus into like next year, um, everything is really shifting when it comes to our foundations and what do we value? What do we really value in our lives? So I kind of feel um, this, this energy of really looking into your feminine nature and re-identifying all of your approaches within your personal relationships when it comes to security, when it comes to adventure, and what it is that you want to bring into your life moving forward. So I feel a lot of comforting energy coming through today. Um, social ease is what was really pronounced in meditation. So there's a lot of cosmic forces working to help us all establish harmony in our life. So, you know, we're here to work together to build those solid, soulful relationships within our own lives, within the community and globally. So I think get ready for plenty of opportunities to be attracted if you are in alignment with that high vibration, divine feminine energy from the inside out. It's it's this very positive, potent potential coming through in the energies. And it is really encouraging this diplomacy when it comes to compassion and generosity. Um, there's huge potential for success when Venus is involved. So Venus and Taurus energy, I feel, rules the throat. So you might want to just throw on the music today, sing, dance, kind of activate uh, that sacral chakra to really dive into this pleasurable energy today. Um, 
this can really trigger, you know, your inner poet, your inner journalist, um, you know, your inner painting abilities, dance, you know, we all have the ability to compose and to create anything we want in our life and the energy is quite progressive when it comes to moving in new directions, especially when it comes to music, art, the esoteric. So, um, a lot of a lot of really high vibration energy coming through I must say so you know the energy is saying hey you have the power and you have the resources to elevate along this spiritual journey but you do have to be aware of any deceptive charming people in your life that are out for personal gain because we're not here for personal gain. Um, you know, yes, we all need to live in a material world, but there is always more than enough to go around for everybody. And with North Node conjunct Venus, this is really going to highlight uh, karmic connections in your life as well. When we meet these karmic connections, we draw in these magnetic, these magnetic forceful uh, connections as if by magic. And although this is a very uh, magnetic karmic connection, it, it also brings forward all of these um, challenges in order for you to kind of work through some past life karma. So I feel the energy is asking us to kind of transcend that comfort zone, to transcend that south node comfort zone, and to be willing to embrace the unknown and the unexpected. And when I think of karmic connections, it's this energy of like star-crossed lovers, um, and, you know, when it comes to these instant attractions, when you meet somebody, um, it goes, you know, it's usually an instant attraction with the lower chakras, a physical attraction. And we're kind of being asked to pass those up uh, moving forward to, you know, clear up any unfinished business from the past that is needing resolution. And so, you know, we're here to have those deep, soulful connections moving forward. And if you're kind of closing out a karmic contract, I feel this is the perfect opportunity to clean up any unfinished business, to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and to fulfill that contract once and for all. We're meant to go into these karmic contracts. They're not meant to last a very long time. They're meant to come in quickly, create a lot of chaos, a lot of conflict, a lot of challenges, and then they're meant to teach us a lesson. And when we learn the lesson, we're supposed to kind of go our separate ways, but so many of us stay in these karmic contracts long past the expiry date, years past the expiry date. So I think the energy is kind of challenging us all to transform out of these negative relationship patterns and to embrace a brand new adventure um, because we're pairing with those where we can build upon some common ground and have those long lasting, soulful, fulfilling relationships moving forward, you know? Enjoy those karmic relationships while they last. It's definitely a challenging dynamic and it's there to inspire you and challenge you at every turn. And it's kind of like this crash course energy and personal development. So there might be a catalytic event today uh, taking place when it comes to your personal growth. So keep that in mind. But let's jump in with some cards, guys. We're going to start off with the Illumination Oracle deck. <laughs> Beautiful. Illumination, blessings on the way. So I think be open to receive the, the wonderful blessings. If you've done the work, if you if you've dug into all of this growth and this expansion and you planted those seeds and you sent that wish up to the universe and you surrendered all control to an outcome, I think get ready to receive some big, big blessings in the energy today. Okay, let's see what else needs to come through with the Illumination Oracle deck. Look at that, life partner. So that is exactly the energy I was channeling. We are manifesting these soulful connections, these lifetime partnerships. So I think um, get ready to receive a message. Somebody I think has been thinking about sending a message for a long time. I do feel there's a lot of deep emotions here and maybe somebody's wrote out what they wanna say and they've crumpled it up and tried again because I do feel somebody is working through some, some inadequacy issues, some issues with some self-esteem, some self-worth. Smack dab in the middle, we get this accusation, and then we close off with this vulnerable. So there's that rebirth energy, the fawn. You know, being emotionally vulnerable, um, rising through the ashes. So there's a lot of emotional vulnerability coming through, especially with the moon in Pisces. You might be, you know, having the finger pointed at you today if you're closing out a karmic connection. 
but I feel uh, there's likely a deep spiritual connection here where somebody's come between two people that have a lot of love for one another. There is a lot of loyalty there. It's feeling like it's been this very painful, wintry energy of maybe being left out in the cold. Somebody's definitely been dreaming about you or you've been dreaming about somebody and there is there is that need to address these unhealthy patterns in relationships once and for all. And people, we can become addicted to people, you know, that bubble phase and then everything crumbles down and you break apart and you come back together, you go into the bubble phase and you break apart. We're not meant to live in these cycles of running and chasing, pushing and pulling. So I think a lot of relationship patterns are coming up to be addressed and somebody's really paying attention to the details of their life, really trying to figure out how to get unstuck is what I'm feeling. So you might wanna spend some time going within today because there is without a doubt something being illuminated and it's so true after the storm the sun comes out the illumination comes and the lesson can finally be learned so let's see what needs to come through with the spiritual journey oracle deck letting go you have to release control if you want the universe to do their job if you want the angels and the cosmos to do its job you're going to have to surrender control and just trust that everything that you've prayed for is coming and forgiveness is a big thing. When you offer forgiveness to another, it truly does liberate your heart. Forgiveness does not allow that person to mistreat you. But, you know, we learn some tough lessons in life. And let's face it, not everybody apologizes. Not everybody has uh, the power to stand up and do the right thing. So I do feel a lot of awakenings um, in the energy, especially with this eclipse season. And so globally, we're part of this massive awakening and we're all here to join others, to join forces, to work together. So I feel like a layer of awakening when it comes to your soul's identity, this expanded consciousness, and somebody here is definitely coming into that perfect soul alignment, really integrating the lessons learned is what I'm feeling. So let's keep going here, guys, and see uh, what else needs to come through. I just saw the liberation. So that's that karmic debt 14 liberation energy so pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities there is something coming to manifestation i clarified the loyalty and the accusation card with the manifestation energy so somebody's been manifesting something back into their life something into their life and you know our thoughts are constantly creating our physical reality so you know, have you been meditating? Have you been doing those daily affirmations? Have you created space in your physical reality for what it is that you have been trying to attract in? Because somebody is being asked to be open to receiving. So I do feel get ready to receive a message and be open to this message. Be willing and open to hear the messages coming through. And this very well could just be a message from your guides, your angelic team, and your higher self. So you kind of got to clear out that mental clutter in order for this clarity to come through. But I feel a deep emotional release. And those signs and sinks have been screaming at me loud lately. I asked for a sign for my birthday last night. And when I got home from my, my daughter's program that she was at... Um, I seen a snail um, on the dog house in the backyard and I've never seen a snail in my backyard before. So of course I Google, what does this mean? Beautiful message on my way home today from dropping off the girls at school. I saw a bunny ran right in front of the car and I, I'm like, I don't like to, you know, um, hurt anything. So I slammed on the brakes and I let that bunny scooch across the yard. And that's also a symbol of rebirth, luck, expansion. So... The universe is always sending you signs and things, but you have to kind of dig a little bit deeper, read between the lines, and pay attention to what all of these symbols and signs represent for your own personal life, where you're at, you know. You can always ask the universe, hey, send me a sign, and that's what I did too. The other day I said, send me a sign. Send me a cardinal, I said, because um, I always... I always feel my grandmother's presence who crossed over in 2016 when I see a cardinal. And I was taking my dog for a walk yesterday and I never ever noticed this before in a street uh, or in a house down the street. There was this beautiful metal artwork up against the house behind some bushes and it was like mama bird cardinal 
with four baby cardinals below. So I not only got one cardinal, I got five cardinals, and once again, five big, big changes. So there's always a deeper meaning. You kind of just got to trust. And when you're in that present moment, all of these energies just kind of flow and merge, and it can create this vi vitality in your life. So I do feel there is a situationship or a relationship dynamic here that is is kind of pushing somebody into their greater purpose. And there is a new life just around the corner and there is a deep soul connection here. So get ready for a roadblock that is needing to be overcome when it comes to this significant soul connection where I do feel there is a lot of loyalty, but there is somebody here that needs protection. There is somebody here needing to understand why the roadblock obstacles and challenges are put in their place in order to maybe seek an alternative solution. So there is a significant soul connection here as part of your evolution. And I think closing out these short-term karmic contracts and stepping into long-term potential. So this person is very important when it comes to your journey towards fulfillment. Um, and you know, others can always influence us. Others can always provide, um, you know, knowledge for us. But ultimately, we all have the answers within and we all have the ability to take charge of our own destiny. So get ready to face a challenge head on in the energies today and use this challenge as an opportunity to improve your life. And, you know, although you might be tested, we're all kind of being asked right now to stand in our beliefs, to stand in our faith and to not back down. So let's uh, jump in with some tarot and see what other energies need to come through for a message today. Wow. If that is not a soul awakening, I don't know what is. So judgment, an awakening of some sort. There's that Plutonian energy. Third eye activations, if you can see on the card, it's so hard to see in the in the light, there's that, the divine triangle right over the third eye. So third eye visions, and of course I can't uh, ignore that. We've got this king of wands, and the king of wands is that passionate visionary leader. So we got fire, and we got judgment, karmic judgment, um, karmic completion, as we all kind of embrace this ascension journey and go through this deep soul retrieval and a lot of truth. So get ready to receive a lot of truth when it comes to your own awakening journey. Maybe you're going through an awakening right now. Many of us have been. So I think get ready for some truth to be exposed is what I'm feeling. There's definitely something coming full circle. And like I said, you might be tested. Maybe you're being accused of something in order to finally address this stuckness and these unhealthy patterns because we're transforming our lives. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody here is in, in the throes of death, transformation, rebirth, and shedding all of these negative vices, all of these old layers of self. And then we get this Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy, somebody that's very grounded, very stable, living the good life. She doesn't want or seek for anything. She's very connected to her heart center. She's very connected to her spiritual team with the doves around her. So we got a very singular, very stable, very abundant feminine energy coming through. And maybe this is bringing you know, an awakening into maybe this masculine's life. Abundance of downloads, abundance of truth when it comes to this transformation. So we got, we got mental activity, we got air, and we got fire, and we got water, we got rebirth going on. So let's keep going and see what else needs to come through in the energies today. A lot of illumination, a lot of truth. All right. We get the Knight of Coins, the Queen of Cups, and the Palace of Swords. So somebody wants victory, and there is a Queen of Cups here that has a lot of love to give. Um, somebody is looking at this Queen of Cups as their life partner with the dolphins on the card. Dolphins mate for life. It's this resonance of energy, this activation of a soul blueprint, a soul song resonance, and maybe this has been a long time coming. Hey, we got the, the slowest knight in the deck, but he looks like he's raring to go. This knight is on a horse, raring to go. A lot of love here. A lot of love here. 
and a lot of truth about what it is that you need to do to go after this victory. And there's that Pisces energy with the moon. So I think somebody is really in their emotions when it comes to this feminine energy and the truth about what's really on their heart. Pisces coming through very strongly, Leo. And that's all about the heart, um, expanding through the heart space with the six of wands. So somebody's been through the war zone. Somebody's been facing all kinds of challenges and they're coming out on top. They're coming out a winner. They're coming out the victor. Um, so interesting. So a lot of expansion in the heart space, a lot of illumination and higher truth is coming in when it comes to something that's been hidden. Maybe somebody's been hiding some secret emotions for this Queen of Cups on their heart. And there is, without a doubt, a karmic rebalancing, uh, karmic justice, karmic deliverance is what I'm hearing. So, and with the moon in Pisces, um, you might be finding yourself all up in your feels today, but let's keep going and see what else needs to come through. Eight of Wands, the Empress, Page of Cups. So, yeah, now we get the Palace of the Palace of Cups. There's a lot of love here. Somebody I feel is getting ready to come in with an offer towards this Empress, but what a big difference in energy. The Empress is in her power. She's in her glory. She's getting ready to birth a new baby. Maybe somebody is going to receive news that they're expecting a child that they've waited a long time to conceive. That's also a possibility. But it's kind of like this harvest energy. The Empress goes through intense pain when it, when she's on the transformation journey. She's usually an older woman. I'm going to say in, in her 40s. We have to learn a lot of hard life lessons when it comes to this Empress energy. Actually, my life path is three. And the Eight of Wands is a lot of passionate communication. Somebody is being divinely guided to open up their heart and to come forward with an offer towards this Empress energy. She, she is the epitome of unconditional love. She nurtures, she loves, she gives without any expectations in return. And there is without a doubt a soul connection here, a deep spiritual soul connection here, a lifetime partnership that will lead to wish fulfillment, a divinely guided union, a higher power, we have the Hierophant, somebody's praying that um, they can come forward and speak some truth to this Empress, and I think it might start out small, but there's going to be a very intense, honest conversation when it comes to some past betrayal. Maybe somebody stole from this Empress in the past, lied to this Empress, snuck away from this Empress, and never, ever talked to her again. Somebody wants to come in for reconciliation to make that final judgment call, when it comes to a new beginning in love is what I'm feeling. And somebody's been praying, maybe on their knees praying that it's not too late to come in with this offer because somebody's got a lot of passion for this empress and somebody's being divinely guided to take action and to rectify a past mistake is kind of what I'm feeling. So let's keep going guys and see what else needs to come through. Intense energies today. Get ready to step into a brand new life. There is healing on the way, and then we get that King of Wands come back out. Oh my gosh. So we get the Temperance, Sag, the Archer. Somebody's been uh, struck with the Rods of Love, and there is a lot of passion here. Somebody's got a lot of passion for this Empress, Aries, Leo, Sag, and there's that Pisces energy, the Hanged Man. So somebody's definitely been going through a period of expansion, suspended in time, needing to learn a karmic lesson, maybe about, you know, self-worth, self-value, inadequacy. Uh, the Empress never asks for much except for an open heart, truth, and love when it comes to, you know, reciprocity. And, you know, the Empress has everything she needs on her own. She's not looking for somebody to provide for her. She can provide anything she needs for herself and there's a masculine I, I feel really needing to release and lay down a long-standing burden. I feel an expanded consciousness. Somebody's illusions are being shattered. Maybe somebody's um, Neptune is in Sag, but there's that Saturn energy coming through, um, more Sag energy. Somebody's been hit, somebody's been arched <laughs> and, and I feel somebody's sitting in a whole lot of truth, hitting that rock bottom when it comes to this truth needing to consciously lay down a burden when it comes to movement forward. There's a lot of luck in the energy, luck expansion, get ready to receive. 
um, and get ready for forward movement if you've been feeling stuck because tens are all about endings and completions and yeah there was definitely not equal give and take before in this relationship and I feel somebody is preparing to communicate that they want to restore a sense of balance because it's kind of time to open up that heart and to express these emotions that I feel have laid on somebody's heart as a heavy burden for quite some time. And there is a lot of loyalty here, but maybe somebody went down the beaten pathway and I think somebody's getting ready to open up their heart. There's going to be a tower. Oh my God, yes, there is. There's going to be a tower. There's an offer coming in and I don't think you're gonna be expecting this. This is coming in fast, this is imminent aggressive Mars energy. And maybe this Empress has a few children already. A couple of pages have come out. So children are definitely a factor when it comes to this soul connection. And somebody's been grieving. Somebody's been struggling. And maybe that balance between the head and the heart is coming because there's without a doubt something being illuminated. Something is being illuminated about an offer. So somebody I feel is going through this breakdown of all of these false beliefs. This is an internal tower. You know, the body is a foundation. So I feel somebody's been playing into an extended period of grieving, really going into their shadow self, the dark night of the soul, the underworld energy, learning a valuable lesson about maybe letting other people kind of get in the mix, whisper in your ear and feed you all kinds of lies. Because I think some, like a social structure got in the mix of this connection and two people got pulled apart from one another and somebody's been grieving over this loss. But there's going to be an ending, a completion of some sort, especially when it comes to any third party drama. The masks are falling off, the party's over, it's time to do the work, it's time to learn this lesson, allow it to come full circle. If you're going to take that leap of faith and leave all of this past baggage behind, you're going to have to make sense of this lesson and you're going to have to release any third party drama if you want a chance with this empress. So get ready for a life force activation of some sort because there is something about to come full circle. And maybe this has been a long time coming, five years in the making. And it is always through the struggles that we find our strength and our determination to right any past wrongs because there is without a doubt a brand new beginning here. There was a missed opportunity in the past. I think somebody got manipulated. Uh, people got in the mix. It, it created confusion, drama. Maybe there's some gossip going on behind the scenes. We got cancer energy coming through. Somebody deeply regrets a missed opportunity with this empress. And there's a lot of authentic truth washing over somebody. Somebody's been playing into depression, soul suppression, and all they can think about is this missed opportunity, this holy grail cup with this divine feminine energy. And I think you're not going to see this offer coming in. I think it's blocked somebody's rushing in and you're not going to see this coming because somebody's feeling like a fool. They're feeling foolish. They, you know, they went in the wrong direction. They went towards an illusion and there's going to be a major wake up call. There's an awakening. There's that Venus energy and uh, Uranus energy. So major, major wake up call as to what was walked away from and what somebody missed out on. And somebody I feel is rushing in for a new beginning, a clean slate. Maybe this never really got off the ground. Maybe it never really got off the ground in the past. And somebody here has definitely transformed their life. I think this caused a lot of heartbreak. This caused a lot of pain. Maybe this is three years in the making. But the time is now to address this. The time is now to bring it to the surface, to heal it once and for all. So I think get ready to receive an offer. Get ready to receive an invite or somebody showing up at your house with an apology. Somebody's coming in with a whole lot to say with an open heart. And I feel this empress has gone through intense transformation for this new beginning. So there's definitely a need to release your grip on a very toxic karmic connection, a codependent connection. Somebody's been trapped in a toxic cycle, gripping to control Capricorn energy, Maybe this empress was abandoned. Maybe she was abandoned in her time of need and left out in the cold. And she took that energy and she built herself a foundation, a strong foundation, knowing her worth, knowing her value. And I think somebody's had a lot of secret feelings for her for a very long time. Like I said, four or five years is what it's feeling like. And somebody is about to open up Pandora's box. 
because this is needing to come to the surface to be released and addressed once and for all. So there's a lot of feelings here. There's a lot of emotions. Maybe somebody, you know, played into their shadow self. There's something not quite ready to be revealed yet, but something's about to burst on the scenes because there's without a doubt a rebalancing of some sort. So if you were treated unfairly, unjust, get ready for the scales of justice to ensue and for you to manifest everything that you deserve. If you're this empress, you are about to receive your rainbow blessings. You are about to receive that harvest for those seeds that you planted. And there's an offer coming in for sure. Could be from a king of coins. We've got three very powerful masculine energies. Actually, we saw them all. So there's somebody integrating a major lesson. We did. We, we got the king of coins, the king of wands, the king of cups. It, so we got all five kings out, or all five, five, four kings out, and the empress. So there's an, there's an emperor here who hasn't quite integrated all of these lessons, all of these elements, and uh, maybe it's going to take coming forward and balancing those scales is what I'm feeling. So... There's a masculine learning a valuable lesson when it comes to truth, accountability, integrity, stability, doing the right thing, and somebody coming in with an offer to this empress is kind of what I'm feeling in the energies today. So, and it's going to come in like a tower. This is imminent. This is imminent. So, uh, yeah, definitely cycles completing. So, let's see what other messages Spirit has for the collective today when it comes to this message. Beautiful. All right. I love it. So there's definitely somebody deep in their emotions processing these deep emotions for this empress. And processing these emotions is the first step towards healing, that deep-seated healing. So release the need to know an outcome. Everything is turning out according to divine plan. Everything is all right. And I feel a masculine here that's been in a relationship that was serving to teach them something very important about themselves. And I do think this soul connection has taught you something very important about yourself. So are you ready? <laughs> You're being given the chance to do something over. I think somebody wants a do-over, something that never really got off the ground in the past. Some Somebody here has a lot of love for this empress and they want to do things differently this time. They're hoping it's not too late for a second chance. Because um, you're both evolving. Somebody's learning a very harsh karmic lesson when it comes to some difficult past life karma that's needing to be worked through this life. And somebody is ready to finally acknowledge these difficulties and to heal from them once and for all. So get yourself buckled up and get ready. There is a faded destined event coming. And this empress has felt this energy and you are spot on. So you might just want to spend some time in quiet meditation today and be open to receiving this illumination. And that's kind of what I got, guys, for the collective today. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a twin flame reading with me, I encourage you to check out that description box below, guys. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.